Is this the best new construction option in Loudoun County? This is South 620 by Van Meter, and it's set to open up for sales coming up here in a couple weeks at the end of June 2023. I swung by just to see how the construction's going and just to get a feel for how some of the houses are going to be and some of the layouts are going to be and just overall how the neighborhood looks pre-construction. If you hear any background noises, please forgive me as I am recording this over summer and all the kids are home from school, so they're a little bit rambunctious downstairs with the dogs. But we are managed to get on the VIP list for this neighborhood, and as soon as sales are open, we're going to be the first ones to know and can get start to get some clients in the door. New construction is really hard to find right now in Loudoun County, and South 620 by Van Meter is going to be your newest option. So... We're just simply running out of land to build on, and when you do find something, it's going to probably be over that million dollar mark. So these are coming in at a pretty good price point uh, for the single family homes, the townhomes, the villas. Everything in this neighborhood is going to be under a million dollars to start with before you start to factor in some of the design center costs. So this new neighborhood is going to be located right off Braddock Road in Gum Springs, and it's right down the road from the new Paul VI campus and Stone Ridge in Aldi, Virginia. It's going to feature single family homes, villas, and townhomes. And as I mentioned, these are going to be some pretty unique builds, though. And we'll get into the floor plans in a bit. The, plans, um, uh, the plan amenities are going to include walking and nature paths, a multi use field, basketball courts, and tennis courts. And now I wanted to hop over to the website on Van Meter and check out some of the floor plans and just see how much of some of the square footage is, what some of these ones are starting at, and just get a feel for it. All right, so we are on the Van Meter website here, checking out South 620 in Aldi. Uh, as you can see, it's opening up June 22nd was their soft launch. Hopefully it's open uh, this week, but again, we're on the VIP lift, so if you want to get in, uh, let us know, and we can get in there for a sales consult and check out some of the models and floor plans. Uh, first, I wanted to start off with the home sites that are coming soon, the actual site plan. So. Uh, here you see Braddock Road and not really pictured down here is going to be Gum Springs. Those are the two main intersections that are going to be central to the neighborhood. And coming off Braddock is how you're going to actually get into the neighborhood. Uh, so the model home that you saw, the single family home, is actually right around here. Let me see if I can zoom in some. Uh, it actually looked like it was around uh, maybe 11 or 12 lot uh, just because it was pretty centrally located to the park there. Uh, the unit that was getting built um, for the townhomes was right about here on the corner. Uh, they aren't really labeled yet, so maybe those ones are going to take a little bit of time to actually get out there for sale. Um, they might just be making them up for the actual design center or to walk through. And then the rows of all of the villa style of homes that are actually larger than the single family homes but just have a connected wall are going to be all along uh, Red Cherry Drive up here to the top. So some pretty good lots considering that you're not going to have anybody really backing up into you on any of the single family homes. You're going to have a little pond behind you with some Walking trails, uh, same thing for this road over here. Let's see if I can turn my head and read it. Kent Farm Drive. And then even these townhomes, uh, although they look like they're clustered together, only uh, maybe this road right here is going to be feeling like you're living in a little bit of a fishbowl where you have neighbors right behind you or so forth. Uh, but all in all, it looks pretty cool. And like I said, some really cool floor plans. I think I counted that there were about 24 or 25 single family lots uh, available. And then it looks like there's about 40 to 45 of the villa style homes, which I think are going to be my favorite once you start to see the floor plans of them. And yeah, so in the middle here, like I said, is the basketball court, the multi-use field. They're going to have a little bit of a, a garden area, pollination garden over this way. So uh, all in all, it looks like a pretty cool neighborhood that's getting done. So let's go check out some of the actual floor plans that they have available. So let's start with the single family homes, and they only have one of them, and that's the Magnolia 2. And it's starting under $900,000, which is incredible for a single family home. So the Magnolia 2 here. 
And once you're on this website, if you want to come check it out, I recommend it because you can actually click on some of these pluses and minuses here and get a feel for what some of the options and additions are. I don't have all the pricing yet on them. That's something that we can get at the design center and during your sales meeting, but it's cool just to see the actual options here. You can do a screened in porch, a deck down, and then the stairs, or you can just leave it as a walkout, depending on what your budget is and what you want to do. If you don't want the screen and porch, you can just do a deck walking down. So Van Meter is going to offer a lot of cool options uh, and get creative on some of these floor plans. So the first level here, right when you uh, walk in, actually, you're going to walk up in the main level uh, is like the second level here. So you got your porch, your foyer, your two car garage, and then a really open floor plan, which is going to be cool with a great room, dining room and kitchen all open up to each other. And then again, you can get creative on how you want to do your deck, uh, screened in porch and outdoor area there. You'll take the stairs up and we'll pop upstairs. So four bedrooms upstairs with the primary having the ensuite all the way towards the back of the house. The laundry is going to be upstairs on the third floor, which is great. And then you're going to have your other three bedrooms that share two bathrooms. One looks like it has an ensuite and then the other two will share kind of that hall bath. So all in all, it looks like you got a walk-in closet in one, uh, a bigger walk-in closet for the ensuite primary, and total square footage is going to be 2,551. So a pretty good size home with three to four bedrooms. You're going to have that two-car garage, and you're staying under a million bucks. So uh, pretty good all in all. Let's go check out some of the villas here. So... The villas, again, are going to be like those single-family homes, but just attached kind of townhouse style. And if you notice, the Burley here is 3,048 square feet, which is larger than the single-family home that we just saw. And it's going to be listed at 830. I got a feeling that these are going to be very, very popular just because of the square footage you get. Yeah, you share a wall with somebody, but you're still going to have a great lot and that nobody's going to be behind you. You're going to have the largest home in the neighborhood and you just have one connecting wall like a duplex style so you're still gonna have a side yard you still have that two-car garage you still have that front porch i think it's a really cool option so let's go check out the burley here you'll see on the main level right when you walk in hopefully you can see this i can make it a little bit bigger actually the you walk in through your porch your foyer and you can actually keep uh, study right here so you'll have a window looking right into your front porch some natural light great for those work at home type spaces and then similar to all the single family home floor plans that we just saw you're going to have a wide open living space here in the main level you're going to have your great room you're going to have your dining room and then you have your cafe flex room where if you wanted to put your table you could but if you just wanted to eat at the dining table Really, it's going to be a wide open floor plan, so you can get creative with how you want to lay out all your furniture. And again, Van Meter is really cool with all the different decks and where you want to put it. Um, get creative with everything. Upper level, we'll go check out the uh, stairs coming up. You got your three other bedrooms here, and then your primary. And the one really cool part about this floor plan is that you're going to have a large open space to below. So. If you wanted to finish that off, um, you might be able to, but I think it's going to be really cool that you can leave that open and make it feel a lot larger inside on that main level with that two-story family room, or they're calling it a great room. So it's going to be pretty cool to see and how, how they kind of pull it off there. Uh, but you're still going to have your big walk-in closet. You're still going to have your primary bath and your ensuite. So you're not losing too much square footage with it. And like I said, it's still the largest home that they're going to be building in this neighborhood. So... To open it up to get a little bit more natural light and windows all in that area is going to be really nice. And I think that's my preferred way to go with it. And then you can get creative too down in the, be uh, the basement. You can finish off one of the bedrooms for that fifth bedroom. You can have your rec room uh, or you can just leave it a wide open unfinished space if you want to. It's really going to be open to you uh, to how you want to finish it. And then last, we will go check out some of the townhomes. So the townhomes, again, are going to be kind of like they almost look like condos where that there's four of them all grouped together and you're going to share a couple walls. But the price point of these are going to be great for the actual square footage that you get townhouse wise. And there's four different options, the Albright, the Bullard, the Carson and the Hill. 
and I think the hill is probably my favorite so let's go check that one out again all these come with a detached garage that you'll see here and what makes this one really cool on the hill is that when you walk in it's like your main level so you're not gonna have to walk up any stairs like that single family uh, one where your main level actually starts in the second one so you walk in there's your kitchen great room study uh, you can put on the back porch if you want to your patio and then your second level is gonna have two bedrooms it's gonna be your primary bedroom with the ensuite and then also your second bedroom uh, with like the hall bath there and that's where your laundry is going to be. But then the cool part is where this third level is, you're going to have your loft and your bedroom three is up there. So this one's going to feel a little bit uh, taller than it is wider. But I love that loft space of just some extra living space. If you have an older teenager or something like that, they have their own little family room area. And, um, you know, if you really wanted to, you could turn this into your primary all the way at the very top. So you have your own level uh, kind of get creative with it. So. Again, I think these are all just some really unique floor plans that you don't see a lot of in Loudoun County, and I'm excited to see them fully done and built out and be able to go take a tour of some of them. So once this is open and you can start touring some of these, uh, I'm going to do a second video. So if you want to see that, let me know. I'll be sure to focus on a certain model home if you'd like or a certain aspect of the home. But I'm going to make sure to hit all these because I think they're all really unique and just not something you see in the cookie cutter homes that a lot of these other builders are doing and Van Meter's doing too. So with that being said, I'm Stephen Ellis with Ellis Properties. Be sure to follow us for all the great places to live and things to do here in Northern Virginia. Thanks.